Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Wa ati Allah, ati Rasul, ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdul kulla jisu, da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal. And but for the grace of God kept us alive. May Allah forgive us and keep us within His oceans of mercy. And that this way, this way of reality is based on writing. And Imam Ali Salam and the inheritance of Imam Ali Salam was writing the revelations of Sayyidina Muhammad and the one whom teaches and is the gate of all knowledges into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is then reminding for us that if you don't write, don't speak. Because what you're speaking could be from left to right and every other understanding that you can imagine that the first principle of tariqah you have to have written the haqqaiq. That pen is a pen that has a double action. As you write on paper, it's writing into your heart. If you don't write, don't speak. There were nine who wrote in the time of Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result those were the nine who spoke and described and taught because Allah alam bil qalam, alam bil qalam that whatever knowledges were coming they were writing and as a result it was burning into the heart. When one doesn't write and try to speak of the realities of tariqah it's left and right like a soup. Two words of the shaykh, ten words of their own, three of imagination and now you got a dish that can make everybody sick. Because it's not what the shaykh said, it's not what even he taught until the degree becomes such that when they learn, they learn, they learn, the shaykh opened their heart and gave their trust. Doesn't have to be the full trust or what you understand of a trust, but a trust was given in which the heart is open and now receiving their isharats and their knowledges. But that was only achieved by the struggle through the first door of writing. To be a student in the way, to one who keeps the understanding of the way and the ihtiram of the knowledges coming from the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad in which they were raised to be higher than Kiram al Kasibin. They are higher than the station of angels and the only reason these angels are kiram or honoured because they document the realities and haqqaiqs of Sayyidina Muhammad because all this creation is a gift for Sayyidina Muhammad So for us to raise in our honour then the reminder is then be a student of the way. Not everyone is a student of the way, many are coming for the enjoyment, for the food, for the zikr, for whatever their entertainment purposes are. But for the seeker of the way and the student of realities and those whom praying for their hearts to open, this key of opening is in the qalam, very simple. This qalam is qaf lam meem. Because you are inheriting from the qalam of Sayyidina Muhammad and he is the qalam of Allah So when Allah speaks the holy pen writes and documents what Allah wants. And in the heavens they've described there is no pen. So this qaf lam mim it stands for qaf and all qudra and power of Al-Qur'an in Majeed to the lamb and the lisan al-haq, the tongue and soul that created to speak in truth and for the truth and then known as Mim Muhammadun Rasulullah So it's a tremendous inheritance. That's why the pen is mightier than the sword. 
because the inheritance of this qaf, this lamb and this meem comes to the one who carries the pen in their life. Ya Rabbi let me to inherit from this qaf, let me to inherit from this lamb, let me to inherit from this meem so that Allah dress the servants with the light of Holy Qur'an. Give them the inheritance from lisan al-Siddiq, lisan al-Haq of Allah giving to Sayyidina Muhammad lisan al-Siddiq al-Aliyah, the highest of the Siddiqiyya tongues and then they inherit from that reality of that tongue and then they become Muhammadiyoon. So then this qalam that we carried in our life is more powerful than a sword, more powerful than taking away in which to, to fight. This was the most powerful weapon of Allah is knowledge. The knowledge will set you free, the knowledge will set all creation free and the knowledge comes with an abundance of power. Min the ahli dhikr Allah dressing them, blessing them, blessing them with so much energy, so much lights, so many malaika that it's byproduct that's coming out is the knowledges because of the abundance of angelic power that's flowing in a fountain and its byproduct is coming out by the secret of this qalam. We pray Allah give us more and more understanding of this reality mm. and how to reach of it. When we talk from Ayatul Kursi about the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad of their knowledge, of his knowledge you encompass nothing. This was when we talked about Prophet's light like the Wi-Fi and only now they're barely to understanding it, they don't even understand what the photon is but they found it everywhere. Even you can Google still they're not understanding the photon. The photon coming from our sun for this galaxy reaches the farthest planet out of the galaxy, on, in this galaxy out. Reaches into the depth of the earth through every night time and every rock and every cave, every ocean, the photon of the sun is reaching. By means of that photon is just for an analogy to understand it's a wireless Wi-Fi hitting all your cells. So you can have this device all you want. If the Wi-Fi signal is not broadcasting, it's not of any use. Every cell is in need of the command coming from that photon. And these suns are like satellite offices for the central sun that orbits all around a circle. The center of the entire created universe is a huge sun. It sends its signal to all the other suns. Those suns send out their photons to their galaxy under their command. What was it? Malaika isi wa ruh bi izni rabbihim kullinam. Amr. So the malaika and the ruh are taking the command because the ruh is the Muhammadan representative of that sun. Takes the command from Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. Take that command, give to the malaika and all the spiritual beings, and these photons are moving with commands from Allah. Every cell is being hit by that photon and been told exactly what the cell is supposed to do and not to do. 
which beyond comprehension that you could even think it's possible. It's not anything random in your body operating. That's why you watch the medical shows, you get scared. These emergency medical shows, they show that some one thing in the body is off by a little thing and everything swells up, everything goes out of control. The frailty of how fragile we are is frightening. Because we like to think ourselves very tough and very strong. If one thing goes one percentage, two percentage this way, yin sun is falling apart. Swelling up, blowing up, stomach uh, collapsing, skin falling apart, all defense mechanisms of the body. Who's sending these commands? If it was random, good God what life would be look like. Every day you'd see somebody disformed and, and skin falling off and blisters and boils and tu tumors. Nothing is random. Every cell is under a command. Every defense mechanism of the body is under command and that's when Allah said, of this knowledge you comprehend nothing. What the cells receive of knowledges is one way. But does the cell understand the one whom is sending them the knowledges, Allah says, of it you, can, you understand nothing. Of what you receive from Sayyidina Muhammad of isharat and knowledges are infinite. But do you comprehend what Prophet knows? Allah is just saying, you comprehend nothing. You don't know what Prophet soul hears and how he hears Allah With what might, with what majesty. Allah give example in the Holy Qur'an that when I send lightning, Lightning is a sign of Allah's speech. Anyone wants to know what Allah sounds like? Go outside on a storm. And Allah gave the parable that disbelievers, they're frightened of lightning. That it shake them when they hear the thunder is roaring and then the lightning cracking. And it send a fear into insan, what kind of noise is this? It's a shout from the heaven. That only for insan to even get a drop of the understanding. When Allah's might and majesty speak, what type of lightning, what type of thunder is shaking? That you can't even see it. The clouds are just merely the angel. There's an angel the size of a thumb called Habib. He comes with little thing, and the whole earth is <laughs> the buildings are shaking and then wow the lightning hits. Allah says, this is like example of my speech. Imagine if I spoke mankind would be dust out of fear and the energy that would hit to them. So with what sound, what power, what might is Sayyidina Muhammad soul taking the knowledges of Allah the commands of Allah Allah is saying, of it you, nothing you can comprehend. What you comprehend is only the isharat coming to your cell, to your being and to your heart. And the vastness of its knowledge not understood. What his soul sees you don't understand. What his soul speaks you don't understand. But know that his soul is in the position of authority. And that he's ever vigilant over this kingdom given to him by Allah La ilaha illahu. And Allah not within the ocean of Hayyu al-Qayyum. As soon as Hayyu al-Qayyum is mentioned, Allah is before that. Allah is not alive, anything alive has death. Allah outside the understanding of life and death. Means then these are the azimat and the greatness of what Allah has dressed. Means importance in knowing is because you have to know that, Ya Rabbi when I'm sick and when I'm not well and when I'm feeling scared and when I feel worried, I'm running into the presence of my King who is my sovereign and whom has power over me 
and that he owns me and I don't own myself. And in the presence of my liege Lord who is my King, I throw myself at His mercy, Ya Sultanan Nasira, save me and help me. That you make the du'a to Allah to grant me a najat. Means we see ourselves entering into the presence of the authorized King. We ask to enter from the gate of truthfulness and after we ask the king to leave through the gate of truthfulness. Muqa siddiq means these muqa siddiq are these turuqs that did you sit with the people of zikr and be taught how to be truthful in your character and in your deeds. Then you entered into their gate. And you're asking that when I leave this world, I want to leave through that gate. I don't want to enter back into the people of lies and deceit. Let me to live and die in their association. If I'm in their gate, I'm asking always Sultan and Nasira, the one whom is the authorized king of Allah the authorized one of Allah that grant me a najat. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi aliyun azeem. Power and might that coming through your hands, let it to reach to me and take away my difficulties, take away my sicknesses. If you don't know who to face and you don't understand the reality, then you don't know who you're talking to. It has less power. So the way of Marifah is they come to teach us. When you're in difficulty and you have concerns and you have sicknesses, then visualize yourself at Madinah to Munawwara, visualize ourselves at Rosa Sharif, visualize ourselves at the threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad Ya Rabbi, I'm coming jauka wa nastaghfirullah wa nastaghfirukum Rasul, that I'm coming to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and I'm asking your forgiveness, I'm asking a najat, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem from what Allah has given to you, reach to me and pray upon me. The power and might that Allah has dressed to you, dress upon me. Do you think that with that love and that request, shaitan can get near you? And difficulty will be able to attach to you? We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding, more and more love, more and more of a heart to understand, to move into that reality for the safety of ourselves, our family and our community inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly. Join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.